Hi, my name is Isabella Rocha. I am a PhD candidate here at the University of Brasilia, and I'm also the Information Technology and Administrative Assistant here at Vapor. And I'm recording this video because I also wanted to contribute to our humanity session, which is going to be, I think, a very high point of the annual meeting that is happening this year in South Korea. So, as a Gen Zer, I am 27 years old, I have grown up in the internet. And to me, the internet and, you know, this new form of information technology communication that is worldwide and completely connected is a key aspect of what humanity itself is today and as disruptive as what the Industrial Revolution was back then. We are now being able to reconstruct and reform our whole way of thinking, considering that we can communicate with people worldwide for all sorts of reasons. This new paradigm shift, to me, is key for the understanding of international public opinion. So, nowadays, if I would like to know what someone in South Korea or in Nigeria or in my Latin American neighbors, all I have to do is to check social media, you know? But the thing is, we cannot take scientific rigor out of the equation when we're looking into social media content. Even though it's easier to find out what people are talking about through social media platforms such as Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook, we need to be able to properly address the limitations and also, you know, the biases that come in this sort of environment. So I would like to invite all of you at Vapor to think about new ways of understanding public opinion through the lens of social media, given that people produce content over there from their hearts even, I would say. And this is something quite different from when, for example, you conduct a specific interview. When, so when you're interviewing someone, there is some sort of inherent bias, but as you look into social media content, it really comes from the heart. People are tweeting, and they're addressing, and they're making TikTok videos from topics that interest them, and most of the time have to do with what's going on in the world or their specific part of the world. And also, in the past, we were so reliant on traditional media such as newspapers or news media or television to inform us of what was going on in the world, but nowadays we are able to look into the, the content that is produced by people in the actual areas that are going through conflicts or, you know, all sorts of issues that we go through in our time. So. I would like to invite us all to look into the analysis of social media content and discourse with the academic rigor that comes from public opinion research. And I think this is quite feasible. For my research, I actually conduct uh, topological data analysis into content that I scrape from social media as to be able to look into the shape of politics and how this public opinion and the discourse has to do with the geometry and the conflicts of what's going on. So it's a sort of mix of mathematics, geometrical mathematics, um, in this case topology, discourse analysis and also political science. So yeah, I would like to invite all of you to also look into research to, you know, conduct public opinion research in social media content and for us to be able to, you know, go fully into this new era of humanity, which is a humanity that is now more connected than ever. And, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit cheesy here, as I say, that maybe this will allow us to be more humane in our research and to promote the betterment for our society as a whole. Thank you very much.